simpler one. Try a front line handle removal. Now I'm at yet another attic fan trapping job. And you know, when I look at this, you know, when I set these traps up, it kind of looks like a banjo. And you got the circular part there, and then you got the trap coming out here nice and long, kind of like the neck of the banjo. And then when you look at the cage wire, it kind of looks like the strings. Maybe I should call this my banjo trap. But on to a more serious issue with this problem. You know, these attic fans are easy way for raccoons and squirrels to get in and out. But in the end, uh, because these fans are not protected, it tends to be expensive. It's not just, you know, you have to have a cost of getting rid of the animals going in and out, protecting the fan, but often the animals ruin the fan. And let me explain why they ruin the fan. The fan blades inside of here are very thin metal, very easy to bend. Now, the designers of the fan don't anticipate animals being a problem. The only thing the fan blades have to push against is air. And it doesn't take much to make air move, so to keep costs down and to make the fans more efficient, those fan blades are very thin and very easy to bend. Uh, the intention is that they never bend and they spin free and you know what I mean. Well, when the animals start going out, guess what they do? They bend the fan blade. Then guess what happens? When the fan tries to turn, the fan blade strikes the framework that supports the motor assembly inside of there. Well, if the fan can't turn, and it's got all this electricity flowing through it, guess what happens? The motor burns out. So not only do we have to deal with getting rid of the squirrels and squirrel proofing the, the attic fan, now we have the cost of replacing the fan because the motor burned up because it couldn't turn because the squirrels or the raccoon bent the fan. And, and then there's another cost involved with this. The whole idea of a attic fan is to keep the attic dry in the winter and keep the attic cool in the summer. By keeping the attic cool in the summer, your AC or air conditioning runs less. Keeping the attic dry in the winter prevents mold from growing. So if your fan's not running, now you're going to spend more electricity to cool your house in the summer, and you could have a potential of black mold growing in your attic. And getting rid of black mold is really expensive because there's all kinds of safety protocols that are put in place to mitigate the problem. So, if you've got problems with critters going through in and out of the fan, the cost of getting rid of them may not may only be a fraction of the other associated costs with damaging the fan. Thank you.